Hey, it's Todd from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Western Rise Meta Shell, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing more content just like this to help you choose better travel gear. Let's jump in. There's a good amount of functionality going on with this backpack. We'll start on the outside. So you have two ample sized pockets down here at the bottom. I like that they're hidden from this little fabric welt here. So they're not sticking out. There's no visible zipper. This thing looks really slick when it's on. Um, and these are lockable zippers, but they are from CMZ. Um, they're not YKK. We typically look for YKK in garments and bags. No real problems with them yet. I did have the main zipper on the front get off track one time. Uh, but it was easily easily corrected and then <clears throat> these ones here are just kind of like these regular teeth and then the primary zipper up front there's like a kind of aqua guard style um, material going on in the front that's just going to help with weather resistance but you don't really need that on the pocket ones with this with this fabric welt here so you have a really nice pocket here the one thing I'll say about this jacket, well, I'm gonna say a lot of things, but I really love the way it feels, like when you put it on. Um, I think in Western Rise's Kickstarter video, they talk about you know, how other rain jackets can feel like a trash bag, and this does not feel like that at all. It's kinda got this, it's kinda soft, like it, it kinda wears like a mid-layer, which is really cool. Um, so it's very, very comfortable to wear. I really, really dig it. Um, I know we have a lot of features to get through, so you've got a little, bungee up here at the top to help pull that hood down and then also two drawstrings on the inside here as well and then if you notice before there's like a lot of um so this this is good for just tightening that hood down no no complaints there um these seams here you can kind of see them from the outside and they feel a little bit odd i mean this one's already kind of peeling off we do have an early production sample so i'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. Cause I know this is in Kickstarter and we have an early sample and they haven't brought these to production yet. So I'm hoping that gets cleaned up in production, but you can actually see these seams a little bit on the outside of the jacket. So right here with this chest pocket, pretty ample size, you can fit like a uh, max size iPhone in there. But with these seams here, you can sort of see that at the front. So it's a little off putting, um, but overall this jacket is a very clean silhouette. All right, locker loop here. I just thought this felt like kind of an afterthought. It's like, I think it's just fabric tape, um, just kind of sewn on there. Compared to the rest of how everything else is put together, it just felt like a bit of an afterthought, but it is there if you want to hang the jacket up, which is nice. Not really going to knock at any points for that. Um, and then we have the, the like kind of like the last but not, not least thing to talk about here. Well, I guess I'll talk about the cuffs. So I really like these too. There's like these snap fat fasteners are kind of magnetic on the cuffs very easy to undo. I think they look really slick. This is just a very slick looking jacket. I really, really enjoyed wearing it, enjoyed testing it. Also got some compliments on it. So if you pick this up, you're about, probably bound to get some compliments on it as well. But I do like this functionality. It's very, very nice. Nice to look at, nice to use, etc. And the main event here is that this packs into itself. So I'm going to show you how it looks packed into itself. Um, but basically this unzips. You can put some stuff in here if you want, but there's like a sling strap in here. You can turn this into a sling um, and wear it that way when you're not wearing the jacket. So no need to tie it around your waist. Not really sure if that's a problem that needs to be solved, but it's something that Western Rise is solving with this jacket. Literally the definition of packable. This thing turns into a sling. We're kind of joking here that it turns into a sling that's already full, but there is actually some capacity. So on this front pocket, this is the dimensionality of that front pocket. You can toss in like your wallet, your keys, your phone. You're gonna take, have to take that out of your jacket pockets or your pants pockets, compress this thing and then put it in there. Um, it is a little bit weird if you have stuff in this pocket while you're wearing the jacket, cause it's just on your back. So just note that, but it is very comfortable. You got a little zipper garage there. I like those little details. YKK buckle, which is quality. And when you wear it, like it's comfortable. If it wears like a sling, it's just already full. You can, however, fit some stuff into this main compartment where the jacket is. You're gonna have a lot more space if you neatly fold it up and put it inside. Um, but one thing I did wanna note here is it is kinda hard at first to close this. So it does take some getting used to. This zipper kind of bows out, as you can see here. 
and it is just really hard to catch those teeth. Here's the jacket in sling mode. I've got it compressed. It's very comfortable to wear. You know, I don't have to tie it around my waist and I've got a little extra capacity too up front here if I wanna put anything inside of this zippered pocket. So here's how the jacket looks on. I'm a really big fan of the way that it looks. I'm not sure if you can see, but you can see some of those uh, tape seams here. And then in the back, I can feel this buckle here. And there's really no way to remove that. You can unbuckle the YKK buckle from itself, but it's gonna be there. You're gonna feel it in your back from time to time. But like when I'm sitting down or anything like that, it doesn't really bother me that much. I really, really dig these snap fasteners too. It's just such a clean, minimalist look. Good stuff. If you're watching Pack Hacker, you might be a one bag traveler. So I wanted to talk about some of the different sizes of jackets that I have in front of me here and just do a quick comparison. Of course, when you're one bag traveling, you wanna cut down on every inch and ounce of space. I think the Meta Shell from Western Rise does a really great job just on your daily driver, like EDC mode. You know, if you're wearing a jacket out on a hike and then you wanna put it in sling mode, I think it works great for that but it's a little less packable than some other options out there. So this is the Patagonia Nano Puff, which is a jacket. It's not really a rain shell, but it's gonna provide more insulation and more warmth than the Meta Shell, and it comes at a smaller size. This is very thin, the Meta Shell. This one's a little bit fatter, um, but it is gonna be smaller. This is the Patagonia Storm Racer, or I think it's the Patagonia Storm 10 here. So this is an iteration on their Storm Racer. Um, compresses down, this is, both of these are size large, all these are size large, and I just wanted to compare, little tiny burrito, a little bit easier to pack on this one, but if you wanna wear this as a sling, on your front, one bag on the back, that's a different story too. And then I really, we discovered this one, this is the Rab <coughs> Phantom, super lightweight. Uh, it definitely feels more like a trash bag than the Meta Shell, it does not have this luxurious feel, but the size difference is just, you know, quite large. So I just wanted to compare those for you uh, just so you could get a better idea of how this stacks up compared to some other packable bags that are out there. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, that zipper can get off track. So that's what I just ran into now. I uh, just wanted to show you quick, that's how it looks. Wanted to talk a little bit about the performance of this thing. So it does wear a little bit warmer, more like a regular jacket in comparison to like another thin, like a trash bag thin uh, rain shell. So if you want something with a little bit more insulation, um, it's just gonna make you feel warmer, then this is definitely a good pick. As far as breathability goes, it does feel more breathable than like a tarpy, you know, uh, rain shell would. So it does have that going on for it as well. And then right before this, I just ran my arm under the sink over there um, for about 45 seconds. And it feels a little damp on the inside, but not really anything to write home about. So it's definitely got a good amount of weather resistance going on as well. I've only had this otherwise like outside in like a shower and I'm not just like standing out in the rain with it. Um, but it did have some really good weather resistance with the sink faucet, which is of course pouring on a lot harder than most rain would. So that wraps up the performance of this jacket. So there you have it, the Western Rise Meta Shell. Thanks for keeping me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.